but this is how you pull this is how you're going to pull down all the stock market data using a data frame to do list to, to list method hi everybody this is sam with python basics and today we're going to be continuing on with our series of stock market data so today's video we are going to have how to get all of the ticker symbols so before we were looking at a small section of just the dow jones but the whole point of this is we're going to be wanting to look at all companies that meet our criteria that we are seeing so we learned last video last two videos how to give uh, Y finance more than one ticker symbol so now we need to have the ability of how to get all of these ticker symbols then feed it in then build this screener so let's deal with this now so if you're new here thanks for joining us this is what we do we do one subject at a time so make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell and if this is the type of video you're liking, go ahead and hit that like button for me as PD. So now we know we've seen this before. So here is, and I'm going to have this on the GitHub uh, link down below. Here is a complete list with all the things that I use to um, that I've comprised. Well, here, let's just look at it. So here it is. Here's, here's the spreadsheet with all the industries and my trading platform I just went ahead and pulled this down for you so you don't have to deal with it and if you look right here it's uh, 10,000 symbols so alright so we know how to do this to bring this in to a data frame so let's just go ahead and do that alright so holy my goodness look at that that is a ton of stuff 10,000 rows four columns so column that we're interested in is symbol now one thing we do not know how to use or we have not used yet is the data frame to list method so let's just go ahead and look at it oh also one thing that you may have to uh, if you haven't seen the other series we've already learned about the read excel you may need to install xlrd and if you're trying to do this right now, you're probably getting that error. But just go do just go do your pip install and install XLRD and then the read Excel will work. So all right. Now symbol, we have a uh, what's the title of it? Symbol. We're gonna do symbols and we're gonna look at this column. So we're gonna do our data frame and pull up. I don't know why I have such a hard time spelling symbol could not tell you so then dot values and then we want to put this in a list and it's literally that simple and then to just check and make sure that we got what we wanted we're just going to do print Lynn symbols and this should be 10,000 right there we go, 10,000. And why don't we just take a little peek? Let's make sure I size this right. Okay. Let's just uh, do, 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 do symbols. Let's go first hundred of them. So here we are. Here are, we know that one really well. We know not to like it, but we know it. And here are the first hundred symbols of a complete list of our stock market symbols so here we go so please drop any comments questions down below if there's anything that you may not be getting you don't understand you don't know what I did you don't know how I did it there might be some pre pre videos some uh, prerequisites um, but this is how you pull. this is how you're gonna pull down all the stock market data using a data frame to do list <laughs> to list method not a to-do list, but a to-list method. So there we go, guys. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Please share, please like, please subscribe. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. 
And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.